Good morning, Ospreys. Today is Tuesday, Friday, February 11th, 2022. Happy 100th day of school. The weather today will be sunny and cool. Today's lunch choice is? Hamburger. Today's specials day is? B5. Now it's time for the morning meeting. It's Friday. I hope you had a great week. Last Friday, we got to meet Ted Arnold, author and illustrator of so many amazing kids' books. Today, we get to read one of his more famous book series, Fly Guy. In this book, Fly Guy is looking for a pet. Enjoy! Good morning, boys and girls. I wonder how many of you have pets at home. I want to show you my pet. This is Vivi, my chocolate labradoodle. And I also have another dog named Furlo. And this is Vivi when she was little, but she's much bigger now. So the book today is called A Pet for Fly Guy. Can you imagine wanting to have a pet for a fly or having a fly as a pet? I guess we'll see what happens. Ted Arnold, A Pet for Fly Guy. <clears throat> a boy had a pet fly. He named him Fly Guy. Fly Guy was the smartest pet in the world. He could say the boy's name, Buzz. One day Buzz said, Fly Guy, we're going on a picnic. Buzz and Fly Guy played chase all the way to the park. They ate lunch, they played together, they looked at clouds. They watched other people play with their pets. <laughs> wow, said Buzz, everyone has a pet. Here's Fly Guy, no pet. Oops, that's right, said Buzz. You don't have a pet. No pets. We will find a pet for you, said Buzz. Yes. But remember, you have to take care of it. Yes. And play with it, said Buzz. Yes. And feed it, said Buzz. Yes. Fly Guy's getting excited. Okay, said Buzz. Let's go to the pet shop. At the pet shop, Buzz came out with a puppy. It licked Fly Guy. <laughs> Buzz came out with a kitten. It swatted Fly Guy. Buzz came out with a frog. It chased Fly Guy. This isn't working, said Buzz. Only you can pick the best pet for you. Yes. Back at the park, Fly Guy found a worm. It was too slimy. Fly Guy found a spider. It was too tangly. Fly Guy found a cricket. It was too jumpy. Oh, I see, see a secret story in there. Oi, oi, in the word boing. Boing, boing. Buzz said, let's think about this whole pet thing. Yes. You need a pet who likes to play, just like you, said Buzz just like you. Yes. You need a pet who can do tricks, said Buzz, just like you. Yes. You need a pet who is a good friend, said Buzz, just like you. Yes. Who's Fly Guy thinking of? And, said Buzz, you need a pet with a cool name. Yes. Buzz. Buzz is pets. Me, said Buzz. You want me to be your pet? Please. I never thought of that, said Buzz. Okay, sure, I mean, yes. There's just one thing about being your pet, said Buzz. You don't have to feed me. Buzz said, do you know who's the best pet in the whole wide world? Buzz. No, Fly Guy. Buzz. No, Fly Guy. Buzz. Fly Guy. Buzz. Fly Guy. Pretty cool book. Make sure you give your pet some love today.
And now it's time for our success equation. Hard work plus resiliency plus teamwork equals success. What is a duck's favorite food? I don't know. Crackers. <laughs> Happy 100th day of school. <laughs>